Welcome back. So last couple of days I've been working on a couple of different things, mainly uh, seeing that I've got the time now and I don't really have too many other things to do. I've been working on getting the uh, interior panels sorted out with some Velcro and stuff so I can just secure them in place when um, everything's you know sorted out with the flight testing. Uh, that way I can sort of finish off the interior uh, very quickly and just by putting the panels in and uh, have that ready. So uh, in the meantime, um, this is uh, yesterday I did this test there, just pulled the aircraft out and the goal here was just to start the engine a couple of times and just make sure that the glow plugs were not coming on um, during the process of cranking the engine. Uh, so I made the adjustment to the ECU uh, setup to make sure that that didn't come on. And I also wanted to try uh, a secondary start, so just start it the first time cold, and then just you know run it you know for 30 seconds or whatever, and then try starting it the second time, um, and see how that works in terms of you know if there's any uh, show up of um, you know battery drain, or if it starts quicker or whatever the second time around, and and just to see you know how that plays out. So uh, that's what I ended up doing, and that's what you're uh, about to see. So let's go over these two different startups. Uh, this is the log for there yeah, um, when I was just running the engine there earlier, as you saw. And if we just jump into the first startup and zoom in here, you'll see what I had. So this is where power is getting reconnected back here. And you'll see down there, right as that's happening, the glow plugs are in preheat. So this is the first time that I've turned on the the power to the ECU. And so it's doing the preheat and then it goes into uh, standby there and this is the point here while I'm uh, priming the fuel pump and then you'll see the next state um, this is when I go to crank it it goes from standby just briefly to crank heat just for a second there and I'm not sure exactly why that's happening I've looked at the logs just to see but I think it's just a, a blip there where it goes into that state for a second and then it realizes it doesn't need to be there because the time set to zero so it really doesn't do anything it may power on the the um, 
glow plugs for a split second there, but then it goes off and then it just goes into normal crank. And you could see there from while I was cranking there, so that's at uh, um, 30, just over 33 second mark. Um, it went up to, I, st I stopped cranking there at the 37 second mark. So four seconds of cranking is when it fired and it fired there at 464 RPM and went up to uh, 1270 RPM and then goes back down to idle and at 1000 RPM. And that was a really nice clean start there. So it took a little bit longer. Again, that was the first, that was completely cold start um, for the day. So, uh, but it's not wasting any energy now with the glow plugs turned on there. They're only, only on when they're back here um, in the preheat stage. And I don't know how long they would stay hot for, but I imagine if they heat it up to the temperature that's you know going to give the ideal start then if you immediately get on it they're not going to cool down there in a 10 second break so um, anyway it, it was a nice start and then uh, if we go and look at um, the second start so I basically stopped the engine there and went to start it again so um, in this st state here well there's uh, down there is where it was finished um, that was the, the glow plug um, and then it goes really briefly there to start up at which point I think it when it's in start up it can trigger the glow plugs um, but because I don't have them set to come on they don't come on um, at that point and then it goes to standby again this is while I was cranking and if I zoom back in on this section here Okay, so there's where I was cranking there, and I'll zoom in a little bit more here. So I was cranking there from the one, um, one minute fifty-six and a half or so, through to one minute fifty-eight and a half or so. So that was only two seconds of cranking that one, and that was enough to have it fire. Um, and it again, it fired there around about 460 rpm i think i have it, it set to about 450 rpm was when it determines that the engine is now running um, and so it continues to just follow the profile of providing full fuel um, to bring it up to idle rpm and uh, you can actually see here this little blip here is the glow plug output duty cycle and i've got both of them set in orange but it's the 72 um, percent is the glow plug so I actually blip on there for a second. I think it's just where it goes to that post heat stage there. Um, that's just a stage that the that the ECU takes it through. But because I don't have anything set with the post heat right now, I think it just blips it on and off again. Um, so it's not really going to hurt anything there. And it didn't sort of slow down the startup process there. It was nice and smooth all the way up there to uh, you know, 1200 RPM again, at which point it came back down and then ultimately settled down into idle of about 1000 RPM. So I'm pretty happy with how that's starting now, at least for the current temperatures. And uh, so, um, you know, play with it more as we go back into winter again later on. Um, but I think this is um, a pretty decent profile for how things uh, should run with it.